Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to World's Best Clip of the Week. I'm your host, Stone Mountain, and last week's polls are in. By over 50%, the Alpha Clip by the guys at Raw here took the win. A common strategy in Siege is to use Montane to protect the person while they plant a diffuser behind you. In this case, they got the diffuser planted, but Montane trapped the final enemy in this room and combined with the teamwork, sent the fuse up top to get that world's best kill cam. This week, I'm back with another Battlefield 1 episode. Keep in mind which clip's your favorite since I feature these in a random order, and it's up to your vote in the comment section on which is the best. That'll also enter you in my giveaway, which I'm bringing back weekly and gonna choose five winners from this episode. You can win Battlefield 1, Battle Packs, Battlefield Premium, a community dog tag, or a shirt from my merch store. Without further ado, though, let's get into this episode, starting us out with the Juliet clip. If you thought sliding into the DMs was cool, well, what the hell do you call this? looks so purposely executed. Wobble turns right, goes into the rock, keeps turning into the direction until the tank flips over, slides down, and gets a triple kill on the tank's side. Coming in for the India clip, Soldier, after taking out this enemy sniper, has a perfect flank on the enemies trying to capture Charlie, and he takes him out in record time. Enemy medic back. Rapid fire sniper, headshot after headshot, making minor adjustments to get onto target there. And you could argue that this was a lot of aim assist as well, which I would attribute some of this clip to. But I've also never seen anything that fast, accurate, and so many kills. Coming in for the hotel spot, Joey starts with a huge nade inside the objective as he's trying to push on Butter's objective. But instead of just moving right onto the objective and trying to secure it, he continues to push up, getting an ideal position, and starts cutting them off from the sides. long range burst and that beautiful drop shot earlier on as well but instead of pushing back to the objective he still stays back trying to contribute to the butter capture did you recognize that sound Gets that pick on the sniper, finishes off the remaining enemies, takes position in the bunker, and finally finishes capturing that objective. Coming in for the golf clip, Lenny's team secured a sector, and just as the next one is ready, he pushes up, gets position with the bipod, and catches them all by surprise. <laughs> While we see this gorgeous slow-mo replay, I wanted to let you guys know that I've now categorized all of my top play episodes also by game in a new series of playlists. Check the link in the description for most of the game's playlists or the card in the top right for all the Battlefield 1 episodes. Coming in for the Foxtrot spot, Harvey hops out of his plane here thinking he can do better on foot with the pilot kit nonetheless. Well, he actually does pretty damn well running with that Frommer stop, which is a fantastic close range ripper, but with such a tiny magazine you need a flank route. Fortunately, he gets the kills and manages to get his way in the gate before getting the six of this entire squad posted up on the second floor, sniping down and wiping his waves of friendlies out. And Frommer stops him right to the face. The only way you're this successful with a pilot kit on the ground is with a great flank. And he had to go through the front door to get it. Whereas coming in for the echo clip, a blind death kit uses the plane to directly parachute behind the enemy lines. Using knife kills and some fantastic positioning, he tears up the enemies from behind their lines to help close out the win for the game.
flare kill as well. Coming in for the Delta Clip, Morgan creates his own stealth environment by dropping the smoke. And he uses an even more efficient and silent way to stealth kill his enemies. may have a world record for the speed, accuracy, and distance of this crossbow shot. I see an enemy scout! The ironic thing is he kills a scout from that range just about 150 meters away, aims directly up, instant shoots out, and perfectly frags that sniper. Coming in for the Bravo clip, Joey, on his way to Charlie Objective, gets to top position on the rocks. He checks to make sure Butter Objective is clear, and then goes on to hit one of the most impressive shots. Not only for the fast target acquisition, the fast target speed and altitude difference. Watch out, a soldier! But also because it was a mid-air collateral! You already know we are bringing this into slow-mo replay. That bike is going at full speed, ramps for a huge air jump. Look at the timing on this shot, taking out the passenger and the driver while they're still mid-air. But don't place that vote just yet, because finally, coming in for the alpha clip, Peter goes full Rambo to take out this team. An incredibly fast kill feed takes down a quick five piece from the air followed by immediately jumping out while he's parachuting down that bomber pilot picked a triple kill he finds all of them trying to revive each other and wipes them out with that beautiful mg 100 round mag place your vote in the comment section on which is the best which will also enter you into that giveaway drop it a like if you enjoyed the episode subscribe to stay tuned for next monday's episode plus catch even more content coming throughout the week including more bonus plays live streams and even some gameplay highlights from myself Thanks so much for watching. That's it for this one. This is Stone Mountain 64, over and out.